What was the incident in your friend group? Weirdly enough, a car accident. For friends were in the car when it got T-boned. Totally the other driver's fault, she was going too fast into a blind hill. Our friend in the seat that was closest to the accident died from internal injuries. The last time we were all together was his funeral. We see each other around town now and again, still have mutual friends, we're all in a remembering friend Facebook group with his family. But for some reason we all just never got together again. No one talks about it. A friend's dog ended up killing and eating another friend's smaller dog. A friend of ours is talking to a girl on the internet. He goes to meet her and gets arrested. Turns out, our friend was a pedophile. There was no girl, it was one of those undercover stings, where officers act like underage kids to catch pedos. He was arrested. The thing was, he traveled like almost 200 miles to meet this underage girl. It broke our friend group apart. Some tried to defend him, saying that it was entrapment, others like me cut all ties with him. One of the vocally anti-children during hangouts women got pregnant, then brought her infant to every hangout and shushed anyone who spoke above a decibel. We reminded her that she was the one who gave other people shit if they even hinted at bringing one of their kids. L and hangout time was adult time. She started sabotaging the group hangout so we ousted her. My friend fucked my girlfriend inside my house, on my bed. This was the incident that separated us all, we were a group of friends of seven people, including my old girlfriend. Friend asks all of us to be bridesmaids in her wedding, lets us buy dresses and get them altered, then gets married in her backyard alone without telling any of us. We found out when the wedding pictures were posted on Facebook. A friend got arrested for sexually assaulting a non-verbal special needs child under seven years old, at his job, teaching special needs kids. He tried to enter a plea of insanity, the judge refused to accept it, they are pretty sure it's not his first victim. No one in the group saw this coming, I am currently unaware of anyone supporting him now, but when he first got arrested some did think it was all just a mistake. He is dead to me. The couple that had brought us all together got divorced. A former friend of the group had a mental breakdown, assaulted his sister, and declared himself the second coming of Jesus. Thank you for the love. I'm gonna stop talking about this. As Bill and Ted might say, please be excellent to each other goodbye. In 1980, our friend D banged our friend S's wife, S killed himself. The next day, our friend J thought to himself, great idea he put a hole through his head with a 30.06. He called me before he did it, I was busy and couldn't come over. We started watching each other a little closer after that, still do. I'm never too busy for anyone now. When we tried to cook a turkey in a microwave for Friendsgiving and ended up setting off the fire alarms, evacuating the building, and getting banned from using the communal kitchen ever again. It was my friend group DD group. Last year, literally three days before our next session, I got a message from a former player ex of the main in this story with a link to a news article from a paper in our state capital that her ex had been arrested. Read it only to find out that he had been arrested for being in possession of hundreds of images of CP killed his character, made sure the rest of THR group even our local game store knew. He is banned from the store we haven't seen him since. And if he's smart, it'll stay that way. Had a group of friends in high school, and I got married and had a child shortly after. My wife and I struggled a bit financially, and I was starting to become stressed out and depressed about it. Us guys got together, and I talked a bit about it to get it off my chest. The entire group came to the conclusion that the best way to fix the financial issues was to abandon my wife and daughter. And it wasn't joking sort of stuff either. They really meant it. Needless to say, I didn't associate with them anymore. One of our friends got hooked on drugs and ended up murdering his ex-wife, one of our other friends. It was devastating. Accidental discharge of a firearm at a Christmas party after alcohol. I was the intended target. The shooter got himself instead. 
For my health, I decided upon a change of cities and friend groups. My friend A was clearly not mentally well and became obsessed with friend B. I was always going to B's house and always calling and texting. It got to be a bit much and B wanted distance but A couldn't take the hint. I got a little crazy and B ended up needing a restraining order. I was still close friends with both of them for a while after that but it kind of demolished our large friend group. That all went down about 14 years ago. Last I heard, A got help and got her shit under control. I think they even made up at some point. I discovered, after a few too many inconsistencies in stories told, that one of the group was wanted by the state police for mail fraud and had been using an assumed name with us. I wound up getting a copy of her priors along with a mugshot and sent it out to everyone at once. A few months later we found a story about her arrest. I came in expecting to hear some juicy gossip, but I somehow feel I'm covertly being taught trigonometry, algebra, or geometry. I dropped a whole social group and family members after my ex-girlfriend cheated with another friend from the group. He actually lived with my cousin and my cousin decided not to tell me until the last minute. So I dropped everyone, moved to a different city and don't speak to any of them I haven't spoke to my cousin or my aunt since. Our friend, the perfect husband with a perfect wife and a perfect child and a perfect harmonic relationship showing love to each other all the time had encounters with hundreds of prostitutes all around country. He was traveling a lot with his car and had a second secret mobile phone. His wife found it and there were literally hundreds of phone numbers to prostitutes. He left, no contact for almost two years, and then he came back and they are back together like nothing happened. WTF? D. My friend went drag racing, drank underage, passed out and got arrested and removed from a hotel all in the same night. He ended up paying a fine that was equal to the amount of money he made that summer at his part-time job ha ha. The time someone tried to make margaritas with a blender and forgot to put the lid on. We still find lime bits in weird places. For couples one. One husband was caught cheating on his wife with underage girls and had pictures of these liaisons on his computer. Two, another husband was caught leading a double life spent their entire life savings on drugs, alcohol, and prostitutes. Stole item from his wife and daughter to give as gifts to the prostitutes. The list goes on. Three, the third husband came home from deployment to discover his wife was cheating on him and they divorced. For my husband and I, the fourth couple, are still happily married knock on wood. Was pretty nerdy friend group so not much luck with girl. Luckily I did musical theatre so that helped but my other friends didn't. One girl offered to sleep with them to take their virginity and gave them all her pies. We were all 14 years old. Paid older kids to buy us alcohol. Later on we all went home. However, one of our friends drank way too much. Half a bottle of VIN cocoa. Two friends stayed with him where he later fell into a duck pond. His parents started phoning around cause he did not return home yet. He was found at a friend's house lying in his own vomit on the floor. We all got busted and punished. Things were not the same after that. When my dad took me and my friends to our homecoming dance in his bootyous Astro van that was so old it bounced like it had hydraulics, and we pulled up cute as hell getting out the van whilst my dad blasted F the world by insane clown posse. There's way too many stories but this one was a good moment. My husband's friend's wife swapped a few times. Both were stupidly trying for babies at the time. One girl got pregnant and they couldn't be sure who the father was. She wanted to wait to find out, the other three pressured her to have an abortion. She spiraled after having it, ended up in a mental health facility for a few days. The next month the other couple fall pregnant and keep the baby, the other couple didn't stay together post-abortion and they're both still single living in different towns unable to find someone. It was all really sad. A girl in HS really wanted to fuck this gross dude but did not have a condom so used a sandwich bag. She earned the nickname Ziploc for years.